life doesn't turn out as we expect. And in order to embrace the unexpected life, we need to mourn the life that could have been. Perhaps a dream didn't come true. Uh, perhaps someone you love died, or perhaps you were in an accident or deceived or manipulated by someone you trusted, or maybe you got your heart broken. Whatever the cause, the life you hoped for and expected to live is gone now, and all that is left is the unexpected life. Grieving is just one part of the healing process. The five stages of grieving are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. It's a very neat and tidy process, isn't it? The reality, of course, is that life is messy and we are intimately aware of that when we are grieving. The process of grieving, the life that could have been, doesn't end. It diminishes over time and requires perhaps less emotional and psychological energy. But the smallest reminder of what you have lost can put you right back there again. When we suffer trauma or loss, we are stunned and, and can become numb. After the initial shock wears off, we can experience stress, disorientation, anger, anxiety, and of course, depression. We can also fall into self-blame. We all adopt various coping mechanisms, some healthy, some unhealthy. We may think and say things like, I just want to move on, or I'm ready to put this whole thing behind me. But you can't just move on. You have to deal with it. Physical wounds get worse and can become life-threatening if you ignore them. Emotional wounds respond in exactly the same way. So do psychological and spiritual wounds. If you don't attend to your wound, it will become infected. It will begin to fester, causing discomfort at first, then pain, and will ultimately lead to the distortion of your personality. And you can't just put the whole thing behind you. It's part of who you are now. It happened and it happened to you. You will absorb it into your life and process it in either a healthy way or an unhealthy way. You may be able to control your emotions for a time, but grief affects the whole person, physically, emotionally, intellectually, and spiritually. Don't ignore the fact that you have been hurt. You may have been hurt by someone else. You may have hurt yourself in some way. Whatever the case may be, acknowledge the pain and suffering that have been caused, that you are experiencing. You may not want to appear vulnerable and weak. We should never want to appear to be anything other than what we are. When we make decisions based on how we want to appear to be, we make bad decisions. When horrible things happen to us, we want to believe that there is a proper way to deal with the experience, to process it, to, to heal from it. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. One thing is for sure, and that is, it is messy. Mourn the life that could have been if your dream had come true, if your baby hadn't died, if you had not been betrayed, if your spouse had not divorced you, if you hadn't made such a devastating mistake, if you hadn't gotten sick, mourn that life. It's a prerequisite for discovering the exquisite possibilities that still lay before you.